o'clock, big economic news. United Technologies is splitting itself into three independent companies. The Farmington-based company says this will be more efficient and more profitable. Some say it's a good move for UTC, but what about Connecticut and its workforce? Chief Capital reporter Susan Raff is live at Pratt & Whitney in East Hartford, UTC's aerospace division, with the details. Susan, good evening. Good evening, Aaron. UTC is a major employer in our state. Some 18,000 workers work at this company. Now, aerospace is a booming industry, and the company says this move will allow them to focus more of their attention on it. But some are also saying that the focus should be on Connecticut's new governor to make sure jobs stay right here at home. UTC is changing the way it does business. The aerospace giant will keep all of its three companies. However, United Technologies, Otis Elevator, based in Farmington, and Carrier, headquartered in West Palm Beach, Florida, will all be run independently. Well, overall, I think it's going to be good news for the company and good news for Connecticut. Um, UTC is already uh, a global leader in aerospace. The president of the Connecticut Business and Industry Association says UTC's recent acquisition of Rockwell Collins, which makes aviation parts, will make the company become more of a global leader. However, the question many are asking, what about jobs? At this point, it's still too soon to tell. The separation could take up to two years. It's a huge opportunity for Governor Lamont and his administration to recast and create a good business relationship with not only UTC Legacy, the aerospace, but maintain and build upon what we have in terms of carrier as well as Otis. Ken Garoshko from the School of Business at the University of Hartford says this is great news for UTC. He says they can focus on what they specialize in, aerospace. But he says we can't forget about the employees and the three companies impacted. Governor-elect Ned Lamont, who was at a summit on Tuesday, says he's focused on what's next. How do we make them grow and expand the state and make sure this is a place that they want to be? They have a lot of incentives to keep staying here, and I'm going to make sure um, they stay here. In a statement released today, the company says that Connecticut is important to UTC and that this move will not change that. Just this past May, the CEO of UTC made a major announcement, a major expansion, saying the company was planning to hire more workers, some 35,000 more workers over the next five years. But as of right now, everyone is waiting to see how this will all shake out, a move that could take up to two years. We're live in East Hartford, Susan Raff, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. All right, Susan, we know you'll stay on top of it, though. Thank you very much.